Good afternoon, everybody. This video quality is poor today because I'm sitting in the dining room and the sun is beaming, the light behind me shining in here, but and ain't about y'all just seeing my face. It's about the message. Well, anyway, everybody know how I always start my videos, whether anybody like it or not, because I'm always going to put God first no matter what I'm doing in my life. Father, I come to you. As humble as I know how. And I ask you to please put the right, right statements in my mouth. Surround me and my family and my viewers and their families in the white lights of Jesus. Cover and keep each and every one of us, Lord. Heal us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Heal us mind, body, and soul. Heal us of, us, heal us of our sickness, our unbelief. Heal of us, heal us of our broken hearts. Heal us, us our, heal us of our aches, our pains. Heal us of our losses. Heal us of all things that are affecting us in our daily lives. Heal us of going through the things we're going through in this pandemic, Lord. Heal us, cover us, keep us, and guide us, Lord. Cover us in the white lights of Jesus when we come and when we go. Cover us in the white lights of Jesus as we have conversations with one another. Cover us in the white lights of Jesus and allow us to be able to forgive others as we would have them to forgive us, Lord. Cover us, keep us, and guide us, and heal us in your name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Anyway, like I told y'all, I'm sorry that my video quality is terrible. It's the way the sun is shining in the house, and then I have all these pink curtains. But anyway, y'all, I just, um, I know I just finished my prayer. But like I said, I ain't too holy to love music. So I'm going to just turn on a little music after I finish my what I'm saying. The light and the load because I had a rough night. I ain't going to get into details of what it is, but I struggled last night. So I've been going through a little, a little depression today myself. But still, we'll get past that. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting on today to show y'all how I'm creating a couple of Father's Day bracelets. I have, uh, I'm going to create a, I'll make a, it's a king bracelet, a bracelet with queen on it. A bracelet with worthy, worthy on it, a bracelet with Father on it, a bracelet with Blessed on it. I'm not going to sit on here and do all the bracelets, but I'm going to do y'all a little tutorial of a couple of bracelets. And we're going to talk while I do the bracelets. But anyway, I'm going to play, play a little play a little music in the background. And y'all know I don't own the rights to this music, but I need a little bit update, just to, a little bit of music today to lift up my spirits. But anyway... Y'all, please like, share, and subscribe to these videos so they can be shown more so they can reach people that's going through depression or just having a hard time or just going through the struggles of daily, daily life. Let's all continue to lift one another up and not tear each other down. Please, please, please forgive others. No matter what, please be more forgiving. I had to learn it myself. Please be me forgiving, caring, and kind. But anyway, hold on one second. I'm going to start my little music. Yes, it's R&B, rap, all kind of things mixed together. Anybody know me? I can't be fake. Yes, I love the Lord, but I like my music. I like to dance, sing, and I can't sing. But anyway, I needed to lift my own spirits. I'll be right back, and we can get started. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Let's begin. I hope the music ain't too loud because I really want y'all to hear the message. The song that's on is Soul Ties. Y'all need to listen if you can hear it and listen carefully. We really do have soul ties. And sometimes we really need to pray for God to clean us up from the soul ties that we done had from our past. But anyway, that's not the subject I'm hitting on today. Wait a minute, y'all, because the music is a little too loud. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm back now. I'm ready to roll. 
I'm mostly getting over here to show y'all how I'm creating these bracelets today. But why not talk? I had to take me a little sip. But anyway, let's begin. We're going to make bracelets and talk. My subject for today is when roles are reversed between children and their parents. What I mean by that is we know when we um, bring our children up, we raise them, we take care of them the best way we know how. We feed them, we clothe them, we provide shelter, and we try to provide love the best way we know how. And we find ourselves sometimes in situations where we may become sick or disabled or um, some people can be bedridden or anything and the roles have to reverse. It's more like the children have to be the parents. Well, that's our topic for today. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me first, let me show y'all my bracelet because I'm, I'm getting all over myself. That's mostly what the video is supposed to be about. Can y'all see my beads? I hope y'all can see them good enough. Using black beads. And can you see that? It's horrible quality. But that's some of the names. Well, anyway, I'll show y'all when I'm done. I'm using black and I'm using a couple of tiger eye. And I'm sorry about that. And I hope y'all can see it. And I'm going to be talking and I want y'all to be able to. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm stringing my beads. But um, like I was saying, sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we just sick. And we may not be able to really work anymore or just going through things with our mental health or with just going through depression by itself. And the children have to kind of take the role of parent and take care of their parents. Well, the parents start feeling guilty, you know, because they always used to working and start, you know, feeling that feeling unworthy. You're all the reason come I'm talking about it is because I've been through it. And just feeling, you know, just, just feeling down and depressed. And unhappy that they're able to provide for themselves like they want to or the way they, they're able to be there for their children like they really want to. Well, like I said, I know that I'm not the only one that went through that. But I want you to know you're not alone. And because I went through it and I still be going through it some now. I'm trying to give you a little way that you can try to heal from it. This, first of all, you got to look at it different. You can't look at what you can't do. You got to look at it or what you have done or what you can do. You got to remember the times that you went out there and you busted your butt and you worked these jobs, maybe one, maybe more than one job, and you put food on the table and you cleaned the house. And you took care of your children. And you made sure they was clothed. You made sure they was fed. You made sure they had the things, they, some things they needed and some things they didn't need. And you did what everything you had to do as a parent. Even parents that won't, didn't, didn't really know how to um, raise their children right. Because they, may not, they might not have been in the best place themselves. They might have been in... Um, Situations where they, you know, they had to figure this out on their own. I know that it's a lot easier said than done. But we just got to learn how to stop beating ourselves out of beating ourselves up about things that's kind of out of our control. And if you get sick and you can't work as hard as you used to work, or you can't do some of the things you used to do because we all get older and we all well, we not maybe not. We all get older. I know that, but maybe all of us don't have health problems. But some of us come across health problems. Just come across dealing with stuff mentally, dealing with stuff physically, emotionally. You know, all that takes a toll on you, and it really affects you. I just want y'all to know that you ain't by yourself, and you really, really, and truly have to stop beating yourself up. And you have to look at the 
the brighter picture. You have to look at the things you've done to provide for your children and take care of them. And when you raise your children well enough, they'll be glad to do the same thing for their parents. I just had to touch on that because, I mean, that really affected me a lot. I mean, I really, I felt un, un, um, unworthy. I felt like I didn't like myself. I felt like that I was less than a woman. I really and truly had those feelings. I felt um, broken. See, y'all? I know I'm changing the subject, but I have to, this, this is the main reason why I did this video. I want to make, make, make light of everything. Dad. Good, good Father's Day gift. But anyway, I just want y'all to know that you're not alone and you have to look at the brighter picture. Like I said, prayer, prayer in my life has been very important. It's my saving grace. My connection with God. I don't care what I'm doing. I don't care where I'm going. I always have to give him honor and praise because without him, I really don't believe that I won't, would be here anymore because I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the truth because somebody need to know it. I was on the brink of suicide. It's so many times that I can honestly slate, say that I really want to take my life. And the only thing that did stop me, stop me from doing it is my children. I was in such a, such a dark place. And I felt like nobody, nobody could understand. And then I, I, it was a time that I was grieving. I was grieving the loss of my father. I was grieving how my father left this world. But that's a whole different story that I can't get into. Uh, how he lost his life. How his life was taken away from him. And I was grieving. Grieving and hurting. Cause I love my dad. I was grieving and hurting. I didn't know I couldn't. I couldn't find my way out of this dark place for nothing. Then I felt bad too because I mean I, I was I, I was actually telling my kids that I didn't want to be here no more because it was that bad. But I honestly was really just crying out for help. I was really crying out for help. But I was telling them too much, you know. Kids shouldn't have to watch their parents saying they don't want to be here no more. But. I rather had told somebody than kept it to myself. So, to anybody that's going through that and going through role reversal from from um, parenting to your children taking care of you, you know you ain't alone, and don't feel bad because every now and then we have to all have some kind of help. Don't beat yourself up, you know. Don't be angry about it, you know. Don't stay in the negative energy and, you know, do a lot of fussing and fighting about it and keep that kind of energy in your house. You know, just pray about it and find you something that you like to do. You know, if you like listening to music, you know, listen to some good music. I know I always talk about music because music helped me heal from so many things. Um, Get out and walk. Get out in nature. I was going to say it because... Nature and outside, even though the outside don't like me, I got real bad allergies, but it helped me a lot just to get out there and, and walk a little bit. And I, I, I have, I need to be accountable of that. Sometimes we're going to walk and talk. Have to be accountable of me not stepping up and doing what I have to do because I need to improve my health. But anyway, get out there in nature. I'm going to read you a good book. I mean, talk to a friend. I mean, don't just suffer in silence. You know, let people know that you know that love you what's going on if you don't want to tell anybody. Or like I said, just comment on this page and tell me what you're going through. I'll talk to you. I'll pray for you. I'll give you anything that you need at that moment. I mean, that's the whole purpose of me making this page. Well, anyway, I didn't want to be before y'all long, but I did want to hit on that. And I'll probably be back on again to, to um... Show y'all what else I made for the day. But anyway, that's the dad. That's the dad bracelet. When I start stringing them, y'all, I get, I get, I get really get to going. Can you see? But anybody going through that or going through any kind of depression, it don't matter what kind it is. Know that you're not alone. Know that there's more people in this world 
going through the same thing and you're not alone and don't continue to beat yourself down. You know, just, just remember the good things that you did do when you was able to really take care of your kids. Just, just remember the, the fact that you, you raised your kids good enough to where they felt like they wanted to, um, grow up and take care of their parents. Just remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Life is what we make of it. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. Trust me. If I can make it through this dark time, so can you. I'm on here today putting up a video when I'm going through something myself, but this too shall pass. And I want each and every one of you to know that I love you. I'm praying for you. I pray for total restoration, healing. Good luck, love, joy, peace, happiness, peace of mind, and tranquility. And I hope you continue to watch these videos, like, and share, and subscribe. So that other people can be able to see these videos. Because y'all, we know, you know what, we really, really, some of us are really hurting. And we really and truly need somebody that's going through some of the same things that we've been going through. We don't need nobody talking to us and telling us it's going to be okay if they ain't never been through nothing. And trust and believe, I got a lot of different stories to tell. And I'm going to share more and more. But like I said, don't judge others if you know me and you kind of know who I'm talking about. This ain't about that. It's about me getting these stories out here. Me being as transparent as I can without throwing other people under the bus. Because I know how people love to judge. But anyway... Love, peace, and light. I love you. Take care. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.